Good morning, everyone. This is John for MTG Nexus, continuing our 50 decks and 50 weeks series. Working on Chunky Red in Pioneer at this point. This list is a list that I'm starting to kind of tune myself after playing League and some other games with other people's lists. Um, lists are obviously not 100% set so where I want it, but there are a couple of things I've noticed when watching other people's uh, streams, other people's uh, events playing these cards, as well as my own short experience with the deck. Uh, one thing I really noted is that I really want the four copies of Glory Ringer. Um, also interested in trying out Torbaran, which was not in the previous list we tried out. Another thing that was kind of awkward sometimes was uh, multiple copies of Minivolt, so we went, I found the core of a list that was basically running two Minivolts, especially when you're running Chain Whirler. Just don't think those car cards work well together when you're working with four Minivolts, although Minivolt's definitely a very powerful card. And then beyond that, kind of the standard four of and two of with everything with two of Kyra. Kyrie Zev and everything else being four of pretty much. Uh, four Soul Scar, four Wild Slash, four Lightning Strike. Uh, basically everything but three Chandra and two Torbron. Uh, fourth Chandra is in the sideboard, along with a four copies of Scrap Claim Berserker, which are a nice supplemental threat against both the uh, Brow Lotus Storm decks and as well as the various mid range control decks that are laid on creatures. And then Fra. Fry is very good against blue and white based uh, creature decks as well as blue white control. Uh, two Lava Coil and two Magma Spray. I wanted a little bit more uh, removal in my sideboard, especially at the four over four power variety in addition to Glory Bringer and Chandra to be able to deal with some of the uh, bigger green creatures, although we could certainly argue we should be running Roast. Then two copies of Magma Spray to help in the kind of uh, lower to the ground aggro matchups. Obviously two Chandra's defeat because uh, the Red Mirror is a thing. And beyond that, I will endeavor to try to explain through my playlines a little bit better today. And in the comments I've gotten on the Burn video from Modern yesterday, so I will try to explain through my thought process a little bit better rather than just shortcutting in my own mind. So that said, let's get into a couple matches before I'm going to head off to work this morning. Back for match number one here on the play. Always a good place to be. Sand's pretty nice. Um, obviously, we don't have one over one drops, but we do have a couple lightning strikes and then bone crusher and whatever. So. lands makes it likely we can cast just about anything in our deck. I don't think we're going to be... Mutavolt here only punishes us specifically if we happen to run into... Um, Yeah, usually whoever blinks first in these matchups kind of gets punished a little bit. Sure. Soul Scar Mage here. Start picking through their removal. Yep. yep, now we just get to jam. Glory bringer into this, so no fear of it being removed. I may have their own glory bringer, which is fine. I've just grabbed the master, which is annoying. Yep, cards of.
So. One stone the yard, mate. Do this. Alright, I don't need them all just because it's the most main efficiency here. Surrounded Master is likely to die. At least if I force them to answer the Rabble Master, I can fire up Mina Vault. Uh, not really worth that at the moment. Cast Bone Crusher Giant. No blocks. Okay. To attack with me, well, there. Don't think it particularly matters now. Mess. We basically have to block the monkey. So basically, largely one. What you got, friend? Oh, my face. Okay. All right, our pump scoops. 
So for the mirror match, definitely want the defeats. Definitely want the lava coils and the Chandra. I'd probably go down Rabble Master. So the only cards that actually get hit by Wild Slash are Souls Guard Mage potentially and Kari's Ev potentially. Kari's Ev, uh, Rebel Master. So it's unlikely. More likely for our opponent to leave in Rabble Master on a play. So, what am I supposed to cut as the last one here? It's just a mountain on the draw. Basically, in the mirror match, you almost never want to be the one to act first. <clears throat> Unless you're supremely confident you can run your opponent out of threats. Sounds good if we were to draw lands, but I don't know. Um, can this hand survive if we don't draw lands? Yeah, sure. Why not? It's a bit risky, but this is one of those hands with a huge amount of upside if we hit our land drops in the next several turns. So land drops, not more one drops. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I deserve that for keeping that hand. Interesting. I bring that in the mirror. this now, but what else am I going to do, right? Just falling too far behind. Okay, at their fourth land drops, the game is pretty much over. Let's go. Train roller. So I can kill a soul scar while we have the time. Put them attack potentially into it.
Yeah, that's just way too much. I don't know if I agree with leaving in Rattle Master in this matchup. Like our opponent's just on the exhaust all of our removal plan. Shave Kyrie's out maybe. So is there an interest in bringing in Magma Spray since they showed us Rabble Master? Maybe, but it's like really ineffective against a lot large other portion of their deck. So definitely punished for keeping that hand. Um, I still think it's worthwhile taking the gamble. And potentially has the opposite problem. One of the nice things about uh, like the Black Castle is you just don't run out of gas for the most part. Yeah, that's their own Soul Skirmish. Just go and slash it. Alright, Chandra's a that's definitely a nice one to probably the rabble master that they just decided to jam here. Yeah. Bone Crusher Giant is far more. Draw plus for mana, kill that. Hopefully they don't have a rabble rabble. Just a phoenix after we exhaust our lava coil. That. Of course, we get punished if they have Glory Banger, but Glory Banger gets us in any case here. Yep, yeah, Queen Vault's gonna get it. <clears throat> Best of our opponent. Yep. Having multiple or two million phoenixes is just obnoxious.
Be a great time would have been a great time to draw a glory bringer any kind of stuff I just <clears throat> lost the mirror match to multiple rekindling phoenixes so three copies of rekindling phoenix We were getting any help anyway. So, anyways, on to the next match. All right, we're back for match number two on the play. <clears throat> uh, that seems pretty reasonable, especially on the play. Hopefully, we get to rattle on three. Come on, deck. Give me a land. Don't do me dirty like this. Especially if it's a blue eye control deck. To look like it might be. Seriously, deck. <laughs> Keep a two lander and immediately get punished. Yay, magic. <laughs> this is kind of redonkulous. Much fun as it is to sit here and bash my head against a blue white control deck. Bring in the fries. Bring in the Chandra. Obviously, bring in Scrap Clans. Bring in Fry. Bring in that. Go down. Wild Slashes. Likely Lightning Strikes. 
curve go way, way up. Hello, technically, bone crusher can kind of come down here. Uh, I've got to bring in one more card. Probably a slash or a strike just to deal with. Uh, she off random planeswalkers as well as um, potentially killing uh, monster mentor. Could potentially want Lava Coil to pair with like a Chain Whirler to deal with um, Lyra or Fiend Slayer Paladin. But it's kind of how <laughs> this leak has started so far. Uh, yeah, keep a two laner again. Hope it doesn't come back to bite us in the Tokus. Going into five, that's at least nice. Here we go. Come on, deck, give us some lands. I mean, I jam this guy, right? It's just irritating enough given my land screw issues. Now we're going to cast Absorb. Seems less than ideal. All right, so land. We go land glory banger, but I think it's just land. Two, three. Chandra. And mana. Play Chain Whirler. <clears throat> yep.
Yeah, I'm gonna use that to absorb damage. I'm cool with that. Is your verdict juicy enough? To fairy, sure. So the record's right. So I have to tuck him. What are the odds our opponent has yet another sweeper? Really? And then they're sweeper, they have another sweeper. At this point, it's whatever. Um, frickin' believable.
We're at the point where we're not being another sweeper anyway, so... All right. So, on that note, I think it's time to concede. As much as I like beating my head against a wall. Anyways, that will wrap it up for this morning, unfortunately. So, I guess we'll try one more match. And we're back for the third match here with... Chunky Red in Pioneer. And seems reasonable as long as we can draw lands again. So the reason why I said Leyline is actively bad from Blue White side against us is just it's bad. Like, so most of our damage obviously is going to be damage do, 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 <coughs> dealt through creatures. And we already cut like most of the lightning strikes and stuff. So it's like, you know, carotid. So are we up against Jeskai Ascendancy? Just curious how many times we're going to start with two lands and then not draw.
this is our final. Make this easy on us or not? Cannot block Kari's of. So, wild slash. No lightning strike here. Feels like we're up against a Niv Mizzet deck. But Questing Beast. Yep. Oh no, just, just Siege Rhino. If we're lucky, they'll block again and we get to kill it. But... That was a pun on my part. Very much a pun on my part. Instead of continuing to exasperate the pun, we shall do this in this turn. What I meant to do was assign the damage to Okay. Not exactly the card I wanted to exile, but you know. Okay. I'm just gonna bounce Chain Whirler and kill Chandra.
Could fire a Munivolt here, but I don't think it's worth running face first into a spell. Alright. Definitely feels like five color nev. We're just really going to go on the tempo plan. Yeah, no. Just wow. Main deck, I'm more to go. All right, so. Yeah, despite this deck being a very slow, clunky mess, it does have enough <clears throat> cards to hang in the mid-game. So, Languish, Supreme Verdict. <clears throat> so, the majority of their cards are white, so Fry is a reasonable cost. Chandra's defeat does not kill Nib Mizzet, so that's not worth it. I only want a Chandra. Probably bring in all the Scrab, scrab Clan Berserkers. Cards that aren't quite as good. Wild Slash seems dubious. Yeah, lightning strike might be a necessary evil. It's going to come down here. And then going to make three more cuts. Cut two strikes and a turn. This kind of requires us to have a board presence. And their deck is basically a bunch of lovely bunch of coconuts. Yes. All right. Seems like a pretty solid pressure curve. So one thing to note is, like, I'm I'm definitely tilted right now. I'm not gonna sit here and claim I'm not. Um, but one of the things with managing tilt is learning to minimize your mistakes and still follow through and do what you need to do uh, for instance um you know that 
misassigned dam combat damage to the siege rhino would have allowed me to obviously kill the um This could actually work out quite well if they're dumb enough to block. I guarantee you won't be making this mistake again. It's not past our main phase. Don't think I'm too inclined to extend anything else in this board. There's not the removal spell here, I guess. I don't, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hold up. Bone Crusher Giant, they're probably going to Rhino us. Questing Beast does, eh? I have the difficult question of do I think I'm going to draw a land? Or. Do I need this Bone Crusher Giant? Rip the land, so it's just easy mode here. About to set my alarm here. Forgot to not set my alarm, cancel my alarm for getting up for work. <clears throat> Alright. So. So I forgot about Questerson, I think. Is it possible I want to take out the Strix for Coils? So Coil only specifically kills. Uh, Questerson and that's about it. I guess it technically kills Tulsimir, but Lightning Stark does the same thing. Yeah, seems reasonable. I don't understand why they didn't fetch there. Did they really keep a one lander? No. Okay. How much am I playing around a one of Deafening Clarion? Is there anything else these lists play that would punish me for running out? <clears throat> Double Soul Garbage here. I don't think so. If they get a white source or a red source here, I guess, okay. You are not representing that at all now, so.
crowded, sure. My stomp would like to deal you five damage. That's annoying. That admittedly is annoying. Sweeper. Most likely you have access to one now. Okay, Kaya, sure. Block, block, block. Yeah. So just go face, because face is the place. And block, 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 take five. All right. So that's going to be it for this morning. Um, so quick wrap up on some stuff this morning. So obviously the blue white matchup was a little bit uh, frustrating. They were able to answer Chandra. They were able to uh, do the thing and then do the thing. No, but like, there were several games there, like, 
game two against uh, the mono red ma mirror match. Um, you know, get, calculate a game while keeping the one lander on the draw. I think our hand was very good, very able to answer things, and then working off on lands. Um, calculate gamble, possibly right to mulligan that hand. Do have 24 lands in a 50 some card deck, so you're probably 70 or 80 percent to draw your second land by turn two, and then say 60 some odd percent to draw your third land by turn three. Um, work on both, and then game three, them having what three copies of Rekindling Phoenix was just kind of too much to fight through. So the opponent was fairly well prepared for the mirror with multiple copies of her Kindling Phoenix. Um, that's yet another reason why I like the card Lava Coil. Um, that and the zombie decks, they're floating around. Uh, Blue-white control. Obviously, game one was kind of, you know, a wash. Game two, they had just enough to stay alive. Uh, game three... There was no game three, and then this matchup, like game one, there was definitely a punt. I'm definitely was definitely tilting off a little bit and forgot to reorder, and then we got uh, kind of lucky to steamroll them a little bit, and then them kind of breaking off and drawing a bunch of mana out of their three color deck. So sometimes, <clears throat> uh, you know, you can play the best deck in the format, but little tweaks here or there kind of get you sometimes. Um, the blue white deck able to hold on just long enough to not die. Um, the mirror match having multiple copies of Rekindling Phoenix, obviously fairly nice, um, thing for the mirror match. Also pretty good against blue-white control if you can, uh, resolve the Phoenixes, although putting the Teferis and the, you know, that kind of stuff, it can be a little bit rough. And obviously Niv, Niv is a very powerful deck, a little bit clunky, um, you know, kind of aggroed them out game two, this game, you know. They were a little bit gun shy about blocking with their sol their Sylvan Karyotids after getting annihilated by that cha Chain Whirler last game. And then um, this game, obviously, you know, they were able to answer our first couple of threats, but then, you know, able to take, you know, Chandra at a key turn, but then the rest of their hand was just kind of bricks. So, you know, a bunch of Karyotids not really running to run that in the sweepers. Interesting morning so far. I'll probably finish up this league this evening, but definitely wanted to get these uh, matches in. Just a friendly reminder, if you like what you're seeing on the channel, please consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, and leave a constructive comment down below. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please consider visiting our Patreon page, as I'll be updating that here shortly as well to reflect our new uh channel directions going forward with the 50 decks in 50 weeks and obviously still continuing the burn content. This has been John for MTG Nexus. Everybody has a great day.